Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anthony Sandoval and I am a counselor at Las Cumbres uh, Community Services in the Española office at Hunter Street. Our organization began its service in Los Alamos 50 years ago. We are currently providing a wide range of services for families in Santa Fe, Rio Arriba, Taos, and Los Alamos counties. Uh, you can check out our website and the services we offer in each community. All services are free of charge thanks to grants from Los Alamos County. We have expanded our services in Los Alamos. Thank you again for um, taking the time to uh, taking this time to spend with me to learn a little bit about uh, fathers and the development of children and the, and the child's development. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, how fathers impact a child's development and the positive effects of that. But we're also going to review a little bit of the negative impact of fatherlessness in children's uh, lives. Uh, first and foremost, my name again is Anto Sandoval. I am a master's level social worker licensed and I'm also a licensed practical nurse. And I have experience working with fathers for the last six years. Uh, we have done a video about our fatherhood program that, that is based out of the Española office. And currently we have been uh, producing our group sessions uh, or conducting our group sessions rather yeah, via Zoom, which it has allowed us to service people uh, in a larger capacity and a larger uh, geographical um, distances. So it's been a really great benefit to have Zoom for our fatherhood program. Uh, one of the things that we have done with our fatherhood program is we have shifted a little bit to a more clinical role and to understanding the role of the father uh, in the development of a child's uh, well-being. So one of the things we want to start off first is we have to understand that um, first and foremost, dads play a crucial role in, in the development of a child. And, you know, um, as pretty obvious is the beginning of life during conception with the fathers um, conceiving the child and uh, giving this child 50% of their DNA. Um, uh, genetics is a crucial part of the development and this is part of the physical development of the child, but also some other psychological developments. Um, in an article titled, The Science of Dad and the Father Effect, a doctor by the name of Paul Amato, uh, a psychologist, was quoted as saying, the quality of time is more important than the quantity of time. So what Dr. Lotto is, is, is saying here is that the quality of time that a dad spends with a child has a very much of an impact. Sometimes, because we traditionally know that fathers uh, tend to be workers and tend to be outside of the home more often than what they are in the home, uh, what we want to promote is that it's that that have quality time with the children um, as much as possible uh, with understanding of those challenges to be to have that quantity right but we want to focus on that quality as we look at the, uh, this article by Dr. Paul Amato he talks about that quality time with your children is not things like watching tv or doing things where there's no interaction. What you wanna do is engage a child in play uh, activities. So uh, sports, uh, playing board games, uh, engaging in uh, play. Play is very important. That's the language of a child is play. Uh, so these are some quality moments that you can have with your child. One of the things that we've learned um, is that you know up until the '60s, you know the uh, fathers were not really um, encouraged to engage in their kids' um, development from pregnancy into in, uh, into when they were children. Uh, but since then, we've learned how important that is. Uh, so there are five. Uh, there's five ways that a father impacts the, the development of a child. So one of the ways is that it does is it increases their intelligence, right? Um, it helps cognitive uh, development. Uh, it demonstrates increasing capacity for curiosity and exploration. Uh, children raised with an active dad tend to score higher on verbal and math tests 
and are less likely to drop out of school or commit juvenile crimes. This is according to a, an article by Child Crisis in Arizona. And the second thing that the article states is that boost in confidence that uh, when there's a father involved, the children have someone to look up to and they feel the love, right? So having an active father makes children feel loved. Having dad as steady source of love and encouragement helps ensure that children grow up happy and healthy with high self-esteem. So this is some very important factors uh, that dad plays in the development of a child. Other things that we understand is that um, fathers who are actively involved in their baby's lives help care for them, play with them, and teach them tend to experience less conflict with their wives. So this is very important uh, in teaching children about relationship roles, uh, teaching young men how to treat their wives, and also how young ladies can learn what to look for in a healthy relationship as they get older. Um, other things that we're looking at is that um, kids also tend to have better cognitive skills and um, and because of this better uh, uh, language, because of course we have better academic outcomes because the ability to read is, is, is improved and children can engage in, in these things. Now, one of the things also that dads tend to, to promote is um, helping children, let's say, for example, learning how to swim. So when we have dads who are teaching their, their children how to swim, they tend to allow a little bit more of risk taking uh, in the swimming pool. Uh, dads tend to promote that the kids swim away from dad, not towards mom as if mom were teaching, right? So mom would have the kid, the child swim to her, whereas dad will have the child swim away, which again, we're talking about building confidence. We're talking about building self-esteem. We're talking about building uh, resiliency. So dads are promoting these things in the children by allowing this uh, independence, but yet understanding how to support uh, them when there is a level of fear. So this is where we go back to one of our uh, curriculums that we use in our fatherhood program at Padres Unidos, which is the circle of security parenting model, which allows us to help, uh, well, particularly to the fatherhood program, we help fathers develop a secure attachment to their children. We teach our fathers how to uh, learn to be with their children, but we also teach fathers how to engage with their co-parent if they are separated or with their wife if they are in a relationship. Um, co-parenting exists in both styles of uh, the parental uh, relationship, whether they're separated or together, because it's constant um, working together to raise a child. So even married couples uh, have to co-parent effectively, right? Because you have two different traditions, two different ways of raising children, two different philosophies. So it's still, co-parenting still exists in both style or both types of homes, either uh, united home or separated home. So we wanna encourage both. We wanna encourage that fathers also uh, treat their co-parent, whether it be a, a spouse or an ex, uh, well, because this also teaches our sons and daughters how to, how to, well, teaches our sons, first of all, how to treat women and it teaches our daughters how to look for someone who's gonna treat them with that dignity and respect and fathers set that tone. Uh, some other things that we are looking at is um, psychological uh, importance in terms of uh, the, that, the father's role in a daughter's life. So uh, some of the research has, has, been, has found that a father's engagement with, a, with his daughter um, has a determining effect of their sexual risk behavior. Or So fathers who are more involved with their daughters tend, those uh, young ladies tend to have less uh, promiscuous behaviors in sex. They tend to be more, uh, have more healthy uh, approaches to sex and relationships. Whereas daughters who don't have that uh, 
that engagement with their with their dance or have lost that especially the emotional part of it uh part of the relationship who have lost that then they they tend to uh be more promiscuous they tend to have more risky riskier sex behaviors uh and this is something that we need to you know uh, consider and uh and hope that our dads are more uh, involved with uh, their uh, with their children. So one of the things also that we want to look at in in child development um, is that we also have some negative outcomes that do happen from this. So I'm going to read to you a couple of statistics uh, that I found regarding fatherlessness. And this particular article references 36, 36 shocking statistics on fatherless homes. Now, this, this article is approximately four years old, but it's still some important information regarding the effects of fatherlessness. Um, so let's talk about a, a couple that I selected. So uh, number eight is in 2011, 44% of children in homes headed by a single mother were living in poverty. Just 12% of children in married couples, families were living in poverty. That's from the US Census Bureau. Another statistic shows that children who live in a single parent home are more than two times more likely to commit suicide than children in a two parent house. That's from uh, another thing called the Lancet. 75% uh, of rapists are motivated by displaced anger that is associated with feelings of abandonment that involves their father. That comes from the United States Department of Justice. Living in a fatherless home is a contributing factor to substance abuse, with children from such homes accounting for 75% of adolescent parents, patients being treated in substance abuse centers. U.S. Department of Justice. Now, uh, we know that in Northern New Mexico, we do have uh, this problem of, of, of substance abuse um, and alcohol abuse. So uh, fathers being engaged in their children's lives is of, is of importance so that we can help these young uh, children develop and have healthier coping strategies to avoid uh, substance abuse issues. Another one is 90% of youth in the United States who decide to run away from home or become homeless for any reason originally come from a fatherless home. Uh, that's from the United States uh, Department of Justice. So these are just some of the negative outcomes of what it happened, what happens when we don't have fathers in the lives of children. And this is one of the reasons why it's important for our fatherhood program here in, in Las Cumbres to support uh, more fathers being actively involved in their children's lives, to help uh, fathers who are in separated situations become part of their children's lives uh, through family court services and be uh, able to spend time with their children um, to support those efforts. Uh, one of the things that we also talk about within the context of the fatherhood program is helping dads explain to their co-parent that we're not talking about if mom is strong woman or not a strong woman, that's not that's not the issue. We know that a lot of the single moms are just awesome ladies. They do a great job with their children. They're strong, they're independent, and that's very awesome. But that's not what we're talking about when we talk about fatherlessness. What we're talking about is what's missing in the life of the child. And the role of the father is very important. Now, we prefer always that fathers be involved in the children, but if for whatever reason, uh, dad's in prison, dad has passed away, that has made the choice to walk away, then a, uh, a substitute uh, father figure, uh, it can be just as beneficial for grandfathers, uncles, a good stepfather. Uh, these men can also fulfill that role for their children if dad, for whatever reason, is not able or capable of being in the life of the child or is struggling to maintain that healthy relationship with with the child. So we wanna promote healthy father figures if dad's not available, but even as a support to dad, um, I think that uh, uh, children who have their dad plus a couple of extra father figures uh, will probably have better outcomes um, 
And that's the whole reason why we like to use a code security is because it really promotes that attachment building. It really promotes that relationship building. And it really promotes that uh, uh, teaching our children new ways to cope with life because we understand that life is great, but life also has its challenges and it has the obstacles and being able to learn to navigate those things um, builds resiliency with our children and it builds resiliency with um, uh, in the relationship. So we wanna really promote that and we want fathers to be involved. Um, there are some 10 key factors um, that we also wanna talk about regarding uh, uh, father engagement. Um, so one of the things that we really wanna look at is fathers and infants can be equally as attached as mothers and infants. When both parents are involved with the child, infants are attached to both parents from the beginning of life. So we have to understand that, you know, uh, attachment and bonding is first and foremost part of the human condition. Uh, and so with Circle of Security, we do reference a lot the caregiver, not necessarily mom or dad or parent. We really focus on caregivers because attachment can be built by any adult with a child that has a healthy relationship. But again, uh, dads can equally attach just as uh, just the same as, as infants, okay. Father involvement is related to positive child health outcomes in infants, such as improved weight gain in preterm infants and improved breastfeeding rates. Fathers involved in using authoritative parenting, loving and with clear boundaries and expectations leads to better emotional, academic, social, and behavioral outcomes for children. So this is important, right? So dads, uh, we tend to be a little bit more objective. We tend to hold the line with our, with our uh, disciplinary uh, procedures with our children. So we tend to hold the line a little bit stronger. We hold our children a little bit more accountable. Uh, we have a more uh, objective approach. Uh, which is the balance, right? So moms tend to be a little bit more tender, a little bit more nurturing, um, and dads tend to be a little bit more strict. But that's the balance that helps a child develop because they get both the best of both worlds and that helps them become a whole child, a whole person, rather than just getting one or the other. Um, one of the things that we have to uh, uh, remember is that uh, it's, it's, uh, we're raising adults, right? Even though our child may be five years old or seven years old, we're still raising this child to be an adult. We're raising this child to be a productive member of our society. And this is why fathers are just as important as moms is because we give that balance of mom nurtures, gives that warm, more tender. We still, as fathers, we can still provide that tenderness, but we have a little bit stricter way of approaching things, a little bit more objective. We hold the light a little bit stronger, but that's the balance that kids need so that they have a better outcomes. Another thing is children who feel a closeness to their father are twice as likely as those who do not enter college or find employment after high school. 75% less likely to have a teen birth, 80% less likely to spend time in jail, and half as likely to experience multiple depression symptoms. Fathers occupy a critical role in child development. Father's absence hinders development from, uh, from early infancy through childhood and into adulthood. The, psycho the psychological harm of father absence experienced during childhood persists throughout the life course. Uh, so again, um, dad's not being around does have an impact. Of course, you know, uh, we'll, uh, as children uh, and as we become adults, you know, we question why this person wasn't in our life. Why did we? You know, sometimes we even, as 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 human beings, right, we'll wonder why what we did to cause our fathers not to be in our lives, or why this person wasn't in our life. So you know, it does. This is a, a lifelong impact. It's not just during um, the times that we are are young or as we're going, but this is a lifelong. Um, issue. Uh, so those are some of the important roles as that we have in terms of how dad's role impacts a child. Um, so at Las Cumbres, we really take uh, father absence um, seriously, and that's why we have our program, so we can really uh, invite uh, more fathers to be involved in their children's lives, 
So we can encourage moms to take an active role in uh, holding dads, um, encouraging dads to be more involved in their in their children's lives, um, so that these kids can have a, a balance as, as as they grow older and as they um, progress in this life. Um, some of the uh, these are a little older statistics, just to give you an idea of the increased issue of fatherlessness. But like in uh, 1960, uh, white children had a 19.9% .9 fatherless fatherlessness less rate and 6.1% uh, in Hispanics. So now looking at um, at uh, 2010, black children had a 48.5% fatherlessness, Hispanics had a 26.3% fatherlessness in the home and whites had 18.3. Now this is an old statistic, um, but I think it kind of gives us an idea of what's going on. Um, I will link these articles in the description so you guys can read the articles in more detail um, and you know uh, review the things that I only touched on briefly, but you can read the details of those of those studies and see these um, charts a little bit better. I am hoping to uh, attach, if I can, a more recent fatherlessness chart if I can find one. I will do my best to get that to you guys, to the viewers, um, to see the impact um, of this. Um, in conclusion, I just want to state again the importance of having fa fathers in the in the life of their children, and also if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Feel free to email uh, myself um, or anyone that you know, or email Las Cumbres, and for us to. Uh, answer any questions you may have. Um, I will also be including a little article on some tips for dads. Um, so one of the things that I want, uh, want dads to think about is, uh, one of the tips is create a vision for fatherhood engagement. 20 years from now, do you hope your children say about you as a father? What do you hope they don't say? Answering the questions will help you clarify your sense of purpose as a dad and guide in the important decisions with your own children. How can you get there? So something to think about, uh, what legacy do we want to leave our children and how do we want to help them become the best version of themselves as well? as we show them who we are in the best version of ourselves. I would like to thank everyone for uh, uh, being here and thank you guys for uh, watching this video and I hope this was uh, helpful and informative. If there's anything else, please uh, ask questions or uh, email us questions to the Cumbres and we'll get those answers for you. Thank you, you guys have a great day.